let's now move on to the exercise sums based on word problems okay so let's see the first sum the first sum is based on what they are telling about is let's read it Rogan wants to distribute cakes among the children of his locality for Christmas. He bought 1750 chocolate cakes and 2352 pineapple cakes. How many cakes did he buy in all? Okay. So what is the first step that we need to do in every word problem? Analyze the story. What is the story is about? It is about cakes right the story is about cakes then what is the second step second step is to underline the numbers underline the numbers we have done with it okay what is the third step find out the clue word find out the clue word so what is the clue word here whether it is addition subtraction or multiplication or division for addition what we have in this uh, sum they have given in all okay so in all means we can conclude that it is an addition right done so we are going to add this two numbers okay so how much chocolate cakes were there just write in words chocolate cakes how much chocolate cakes are there 1750 then next we have 2352 pineapple cakes pineapple cakes How much pineapple cakes is there? Two thousand three hundred and fifty-two. Now, what you have to do? You have to do an addition. Okay. So come from the back side of the number. At the back side, zero plus two is two. Five plus five is ten. So what to do? Write the first number up, second number down. Then one plus seven, eight. Eight plus three. Eleven. Okay. First number up. Second number down. Sorry, guys. Hmm. First number up. Second number down. Then one plus one is two. Two plus two is four. So what is the answer? Totally, how many kicks are there? Four thousand hundred and two. Okay. So this is how you find out the answer for the word problems. So let's do some more sums. Second sum. Let's read it. A press printed thousand two hundred and fifty six copies of story book in twenty twenty. Okay, in the year twenty twenty, they printed thousand three hundred and two fifty six copies. Okay, the next year. What is the next year? Twenty twenty one. Okay, twenty twenty one. They printed. Thousand two hundred and thirty copies of the book were reprinted. Okay, so the next year, which is twenty twenty one, they printed thousand two hundred three eighty. Sorry, thirty eight copies. Okay, then find the total number of copies of the story book this print press printed in the two years. Okay, so they are asking us to find the total number of copies. Okay, what is the first thing that we need to Do in the word problem analyze the story. What is the story is about? Printing story book, right? Printing story book. Okay. And what is the second thing? What is the second um, step we need to do? Underline the numbers. So I'm going to underline this number. We have two numbers. Okay. Finished. Then, third step. Find out the clue word. What is the clue word here? We have total number. Total number means directly we can say we need to add the two numbers. 
Okay, fine. So we have done with the three clues. I mean three steps for word problem. Okay, let's write it down in words. First, in twenty in twenty twenty. Copies of storybook. Copies of book. How much books they have printed? Thousand two hundred and fifty-six. Okay. Then in next year, what is the next year of twenty twenty-two? I mean twenty twenty. In twenty twenty-one. After twenty twenty, next year is twenty twenty-one. In twenty twenty-one, copies. Of book. How much copies they have printed? Thousand two hundred and thirty-eight. Okay. So what we need to do? Add the numbers. Okay. Six plus eight. What is six plus eight? Fourteen. So first number up. Second number down. Then five. One plus five is six. Six plus three is nine. Two plus two, four. One plus one, two. So totally in two years, how many books were printed? Two thousand four hundred and ninety-four copies were printed. Okay. So this is how you write down this total number. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the next sum. What the story is about? First of all, let us learn the word problem. A tree plantation drive was conducted in a school. The students planted two thousand three hundred and fifty-six saplings. Okay, uh, what did students do? They planted two thousand three hundred and fifty-six saplings. Okay, how much teachers planted? Teachers planted two thousand three hundred and forty-five saplings. Then non-teaching staff. Who planted thousand three hundred and sorry thousand two hundred and ninety nine samplings? Okay, find the total number of samplings planted in the drive. Okay, so the story is all about planting the samplings. Okay, so first step is analyze the story. What is the story is about? The story is about planting. All right. Planting the samplings. Second thing, underline the numbers. What are the numbers we have? Two thousand three thirty six, thousand three forty five, thousand two ninety nine. We have three numbers, so I underlined all the three numbers. Okay, done with this. Third one, clue word. What is the clue word here? In this word problem is given total number. So total number means addition. Okay, fine. Okay, so now let's directly jump into the sum. How much does the students planted? So I'll write in words: students planted. How much students planted? Two thousand three hundred and fifty-six. Next, teachers planted. How much teachers planted? Teachers planted equal to thousand three hundred and forty-five. Okay. Next, non-teaching staff planted. Non-teaching planted. How much? How much they planted? Thousand two ninety nine. Thousand two ninety nine. So what we have to do finally add all the three numbers. So add all the three numbers. I mean, uh, sorry. Yeah, add all the three numbers. Six plus five is eleven. Eleven plus nine, twenty. So twenty out to write first number up, second number. Done. Okay. Then two plus five is seven. Seven plus four is eleven. Eleven plus nine, twenty. Okay. So first number up, second number done. 
2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So, first number up, second number down. Okay. Then, last 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So, totally how many samplings were planted? 5,000. Totally 5,000 were samplings were planted. Okay. So, this is how you do all the other word problems too. Okay. So, we have, uh, next we have 3 to 4 word problems. Next, we will move on with this word problem. On Saturday, 1,237 people visited the handcraft fair. On Sunday, 2,637 people visited the fair. Find the total number of people who visited the fair on the two days. Okay. So, what is the story is about? Visiting an handicraft fair. Okay. So, let me take it as a short form. Visiting a fair. Okay. Then, second step is underline the numbers. We have two numbers. So, I underlined it. Third step is find the clue word. What is the clue word? What is the clue word you are given? Find the total. So, total is about addition. Okay. Addition. So, what you are going to do is do this. Uh, do addition for this two numbers. Okay. So, I will just give words. You just add the final answer. Okay. On Saturday. Fair. How much people visited? 1,237. On Sunday, fan two thousand six hundred and thirty seven. So, what you need to do is do one addition for this. Okay, so you do the addition and give me the answer. Okay, so let's move on to the next sum. Aritika said. 1056 and Asha saved 2018 in the piggy bank. How much money did they save in all? Okay. What is the first step? Analyze the story. What is the story is about? Savings. Right? They are saving in a piggy bank. Savings. Second thing. Underline the numbers. Yes. That is finished. Third one. Clue word. What is the clue word? What is the clue word here? How much money did they save in all? In all means we have to do addition. Okay. Fine. So we have finded out all the three steps. So I will write, write the words. Ritika saved. How much Ritika saved? 1056 then Asha saved how much Asha saved 2018 so what you are going to do is add the number and write the answer ok I will just write the wordings along you will just write the final answer ok next Samira visited Shimla in December. He travelled 1335 kilometer by train and 457 kilometer by bus to reach Shimla from Kolkata. Find the total distance Samira travelled. Okay. So, what the story is about? The story is about travel. Okay. So, who is travelling? Samir, Samir is travelling to Shimla in the month of December. Okay. Next. Underline the numbers. What are the numbers? We have 1335, 457. 
finished. Then, third step. What is the third step? Clue word. What is the clue word? Find out the clue word. Clue word is total. If you add total, you know that we are we're going to add. Okay. Fine. So, we have found out everything. We are going to add the two numbers. I'll drop all this. So, I'll write in words. Samira visited Shimla in December. Right. So, she travelled by train. So, travelled by train equal to 1335. Okay. Travelled by bus. Travelled by bus. How much kilometers she travelled by bus? 457. And what is your job now? Do an addition. Okay. So you will get an answer. Fine. So next three sums will be done by you. Okay. I will give you just the end. Here we have totals. You are going to do addition for this sum. Okay. This sum is mark so you are going to write out okay then this one is also mark you are going to write out here we have total which means we are going to do addition of this two numbers this one and this one okay so what the main thing that you need to write here is writing in words okay so, if you see here, I have written Ritika saved, Asha saved. So, like that you are going to write in words, then add the number. That's the only thing that you are going to do. Okay. Then, in the third sum, they have given how many. How many means addition. Okay. This is also homework. Just try it out. Practice these three sums. So, you will get the answer definitely you will get the answer okay so just add all the numbers that is given in the sum and write in words okay if uh, in the sum they have given a factory produced 3450 bottles of tomato ketchup um, in january in february then in march so write in words january tomato ketchup equal to 3450 next line february Ketchup bottles 2451. Okay, just uh, pick up the words from the sum. Okay, don't uh, frame your own words, then pick up the words from the sum and frame it. Okay, so till now we have finished the chapter addition. So if you have any kind of doubts, you can just uh, command your answers. Okay, so I'll answer you whenever I'm free. And uh, we have finished the chapter addition. Next, we will see in the chapter subtraction. Fine. Bye guys. See you soon.